To be reborn from on high is to receive the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico, of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to the Gospel of April the 23rd, 2020, according to St. John. Now there was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a leader of the Jews. He came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. For no one can do these signs that you do apart from the presence of God. Jesus answered him, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God without being born from above. Nicodemus said to him, How can anyone be born after having grown old? Can one enter a second time into the mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. What is born of the flesh is flesh, and what is born of the spirit is a spirit. Do not be astonished that I said to you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it chooses, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered him, Are you a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand these things? Very truly I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify of what we have seen, yet you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you about earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except the one who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. To be reborn from above is a gift from God. And baptism must be performed by a priest, not even by a deacon, much less by a lay person. A priest also that has not been suspended, that is fully in compliance with his own bishop, that tries to be holy, that prepares for the sacrament. It is not, it is not something that we have. It's someone that dwells in us. And that someone is the treasure that is high above, that we cannot grasp. It is not our possession. It is not our authority. It is a gift that we receive freely and that we are to give freely to anyone that asks. But it is so important that either a bishop or a priest would baptize and no one else. Today the Lord says that we are born blind, that we cannot see the heavens or that which is from God unless we are reborn. The Holy Spirit is the one that will cleanse the eye of our soul, the eye of our heart. For the Lord himself says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. You see? When you are reborn from high, that means that you have received the Holy Spirit and he has started to cleanse you. And when he has cleansed you enough, you will have the eye of your soul cleared enough to contemplate the majesty of God. And you will see him all over the creation. But unless you are done that, it is absolutely impossible for you that by your own reason, by, by your own imagining, you can achieve to see God. All those false saints that say that they seek with their eyes God, but that are not holy in their actions, are liars. 
they're being deceived by the devils that can present themselves even as an angel of light. Because the word of God can not be mistaken. So the Lord is saying us, is telling us today, unless you are born again by the power of the Holy Spirit, you cannot see heaven. Blessed are those that are pure in heart. How do we become pure in heart? By the action of the Holy Spirit and by our own ascetism, by praying, by fasting, by striving constantly to follow the path of the Lord and by humbling ourselves constantly. It is so important that if we want to enter into heaven today, the Lord says, no one can enter into heaven unless he is reborn. That is precisely the vestment of grace, the vestment of the banquet that we are required before we enter into the banquet of the Lord. And it's gift. We receive it as a gift. We don't build it. We don't... Um, so, saw it or anything, we don't make it, we receive it as grace, but we have to work and strive to keep it. Let that sink into your heart and start praying to God that he might grant you to become holy. For blessed is our God, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.